What up? This is Vloggle Gaming. A uh, little bit of a, uh, a different video today. Uh, so normally most YouTubers will do gameplay on new releases. They will do um, you know competitive multiplayer, maybe a campaign playthrough, a collectibles guide, things like that. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go through the menus and the customization and the options available. Because for me, when I buy a new game, I like to know the content I'm getting is substantial and I'm getting a good amount of content for my money. So if you're here for gaming, like gameplay, I'm sorry, not, not on this video. There will be gameplay videos, but this one is purely what I'm calling the dashboard tour. So we'll kick it in. It's the first time I've been on this menu. So we press start to go into the menu and obviously you're greeted with campaign, multiplayer, zombies, local play, store, Modern Warfare Remastered. If you hit Modern Warfare Remastered, it will take you back in. When I did my remastering uh, or remastered video earlier and it said Infinite Warfare, I wasn't sure if that would load it straight in. It does. It allows you to flick between the two. Um, so the first one we'll click on is the campaign. Now, I haven't started this at all yet. This is my first time. Uh, so I can't resume game and I can't select mission. But obviously on new game, you'd be able to go on. Saves automatically, and there we go. So you've got your difficulties that we're used to. Recruit, regular, hardened, and veteran. The two question marks, I have heard rumors of what they are. I don't want to know until I've got them. I'm not going to say anything to spoil anyone's fun. But I, uh, I do understand that they are alternate difficulties, let's say. Uh, you also agree with the credits. I'm obviously not going to go the credits far too long. But that's for those who uh, want to see who made the game. Uh, multiplayer. So here we go into public match custom game and store so store will be like it says where you buy map packs and things like that from it says in the you know, season mass map packs and much more so i'm assuming cod points etc as well uh you can play split screen just say add controller for a split screen so that would be you know if you've got a mate round and you want to you want to take it online and play as a guest that's pretty cool uh public match JTF Wolverines. I'm Commander James Romer. The Wolverines are a direct assault unit. We work for the SDF, the UNSA, anyone with a bankroll to pay the bills. Other units out there specialize in strategic objectives, tech ops, ghost hits. We like to keep it simple. Kill or be killed. Sergeant! Get your team ready, we leave it by! I'll be assigning you missions as they come in. Complete the objectives, I'll promote you, get you the best gear we have available. First things first, we need to get you in a combat rig. Rigs are wearable, customizable weapon systems. Top of the line tech, built for extreme military applications. These things pack a punch. They will save your ass in almost any environment. This is a tricked out warfighter rig, custom built for our unit. Prove yourself and you'll get access to more rigs and extra ordnance packages. Welcome to the Wolverines. First in the fight. Go give them hell, soldier. Pick a rig. Okay. So that was a nice introduction to uh <laughs> Okay. To the uh to the the customization side of Infinite Warfare. So the first thing you've got to do here is obviously create a class. So I will click that. Select combat rig. I assume it's like the beta, so I hit rig and I can choose. Right, so we've got Warfighter, which is an assault class battle rig outfitted for operating in a variety of situations. We've got Merc, which is Merc class battle rig focused on heavy defense and suppressive fire. And Synaptic, which is C6 class remote operated robot optimized for speed and close quarters combat. So I guess that would be the uh, be able to run in melee, that kind of character. And you've got two others, uh, FTL, Striker, and Phantom. Sorry, three others. Um, that one looks pretty cool, to be fair. Uh, they unlock at different levels. So you start off with a three. So I like the idea of the, uh, the Warfighter. It's the basic assault. We'll go with that one. Warfighter is a mid-range combat rig built with flexibility and no-nonsense up you'll gain access to more combat rigs as well as new payloads and traits take some time to change your loadout or go immediately to your first op 
So he's pretty much just said what I what I said anyway. But I will just click on rig and see if it shows the uh, the intro video for the other two as well. A very uh, Ghostbusters feel to it, quite like that, and synaptic. Okay, so I think I am going to stick with the Warfighter one for now. On this then, we have Payload, which I'm assuming is their uh, special. So you've got Claw, and then I'm guessing Combat Focus and Overdrive will be unlocked there. So level 17, level 2. Okay, and the Trait. So kill and assist, activate a minimap ping at the enemy's location. You've got Persistence at level 2, and Resupply at level 17. Resupply lethals and tacticals by picking up ammo boxes after successful kills. So a bit like uh, the old school perks where you could run over and just restock. So it was a reset of score streaks and death, so you can... Okay, so you can continue your points so you don't lose them when you die. That's cool. It's personalised. I'm guessing this is the uh, outfits. So I've got nothing unlocked yet because I've done nothing, I imagine. But you've got different helmets, it looks like. A different... Yes, yeah, so these are different helmets. So different ways of unlocking them. Kill 200 enemies while using the Warfighter combat rig. Activate the Warfighter combat rig payload 60 times, etc, 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 to get different styles. Uh, again, different types of helmets. So there's a fair few to get. Unlockables are pretty cool. Bodies, likewise. All probably collectible. Uh, unlockable and achievable. And likewise, I'm guessing for the gesture and the taunt. There's quite a few taunts. Preview that. Can you preview these? You can't preview them. But again, there's... 26 to unlock, so that's a fair chunk. Cool, okay. Uh, you've got custom loadout, so we'll go to loadout 1. On your primary weapon, you've got assault rifles of NB4 and the R3K. Uh, SMGs, you've got ERAD and FHR40. LMGs, you've got the RAW. Sniper rifle, KBS longbow. Shotgun is a Reaver. The, uh, the classic must be, I would imagine similar guns to uh, classic style from previous card games which is cool okay so they're unlockable as you go through that's fine attachments you've got a reflex dot site you've got a few others on there to unlock so it's all unlockables again nothing is unlocked yet for myself but i'm sure they come quick and your attachments uh so you've got four grip quick draw extended mag suppressor fmj laser sight stock rifle barrel and hollow point they will all help, and then you've got different uh, primaries and different uh, attachments for your weapons. Secondary weapons, you've got EMC as a handgun, you've got a Spartan as a launcher, you've got combat knife as a melee, but it looks like you have to unlock it at level 37, so that's a far way off. And classic, which is like a, an automated pistol that looks at things. Again, you've got attachments and optics, so we can get a dot scope, and uh, you've got the ability to remove and pair. So if you want your secondary weapon to have that, you can take it from... Um, Take it from your uh, your primary and allows you to to place it on your secondary, basically. Lethal weapon or lethal throwing weapon, rather. You got cluster grenade and exploding drone, and then you can get plasma seeker, trip mine, tar, flechette grenade, and black hole projector, C4, and bio spike. They will all obviously do different things, and hopefully, as I unlock them, I'll be able to show them in the future. Tactical, we've got personal radar, the cryo mine, jammer grenade, dome shield, trophy system, smoke grenade, blackout grenade, nano shot. Again, all new uh, perks. So you've got recon, blind eye, blast shield, overcloak, oh, overclock, sorry, dexterity, and ghost. Uh, you've also got in perk 2, hardline, attack resist, momentum, scavenger, that's what I was thinking of earlier, cold blooded, and tracker. And then in perk 3, you've got Pinpoint, Hardwired, Gung Ho, Marksman, Engineer, and Dead Silence. So that one's immune to EMP effects, Outline Enemies, uh, Shoot, Use Equipment, and Score Strict while Sprinting. 
Fire enemy names from a greater distance so you can see where they are. Engineer, detect enemy equipment and footsteps and dramatics are silenced. And just to go back on the other ones. Attack resist is increased resistance to flash and stun effects. Hardline is gain bonus points for each kill up to 8 kills per life. Sprint faster over time on momentum. Scavenger is resupply, that's what I was saying. Uh, invisible to thermal detection systems and recent enemy trails on tracker. Pet 1 is recon, so minimap shows a larger area. Blind eye is undetectable by AI, so you know, certain things like air and ground, score streaks like it says. Blast shield, increased resistance to explosive damage, that's always handy. Payload uh, charges faster, so that's your special. So I guess that rapid fire machine gun is what I've got. Invisible to UAV and radar pings, and reload and switch weapons faster. Okay, so we're back out the loadouts. Uh, your score streaks, looks like we can get to the bottom. So there's a fair choice, you've got UAV, you've got Scarab, which is a remote hover device that releases a multi-stage cryo explosion upon detonation. A drone package, automated drain, dro automated drone that will deliver a random care package to your location. Counter UAV, that's the standard. A vulture is a companion drone that protects your six, so I'm guessing it's got a little mounted turret. Trinity rocket, a large orbital cruise missile with boost capability that houses two additional projectiles. Scorchers, three prototype Scorcher jets for a laser strafing run. Get a bit heavier. Bombardment, weapon satellite bombardment, does a picture tells it all. Shock sentry, turret fires electrical charge rounds, inflicting damage to the target. Warden, call an escort dropship with two firing modes, so it looks like the old storm helicopter. Advanced UAV, shows the uh, enemy's uh, location and direction. Thor, tactical high output response missile system with rapid launching capabilities. AP3X, remote antipersonal weapon with heavy armament, so that must be an upgraded version of what is the, the Vulture. And then you've got the RC8, which is a heavily armored C8, looks like a mech, uh, with auto and manual control capabilities. And again, you, I assume, choose what you want, unlock them as you go, and then equip them into your three, so it automatically gives you UAV, Scorchers and Warden, but you can obviously unlock and choose what you want from those at a later date. So we're back out of the loadouts. Um, mission teams. Pick a mission team and fight for them online in the global war. Okay, so this is how you can unlock some of the things that I noticed a second ago. So we start off in the Wolverines. Looks like you can join the Orions at level 15, Sabre Team 7 at level 30, and the Wraith at level 45. I know nothing more about them yet. I'm sure there's video and information online should you wish to find it. Um, Quartermaster. Supply drops and viewer and weapon armory. So I've got a common supply drop as a starter pack for the looks and things. TR Armory Requisitions Officer. Need some new gear? Just say the word and bring me some keys, of course. So microtransactions is, is where it is. So you earn keys by playing in any public match. Purchase supply drops for new prototype weapons, combat rig items, and the personalization stuff. Uh, craft new weapons, so using salvage. So you can also craft a bit like you can in Gears of War. Uh, we've got one lease, have we? We have one to open. Okay, so I've got some handgun camo. I've got an got an emblem and uh got an assault rifle I'm assuming that's skin maybe You're always welcome. thank you so the armory prototype lab craft new prototype weapons and viewer collection view mission team exclusive weapons view prototype weapons only available via supply drops okay so it tells you what is uh what's a common a rare a legendary and an epic different guns different styles i guess Okay, so lots to choose from there and lots to unlock. Again, microtransactions are your best friends. And there's a few more here and different ones for different class or different um, mission teams, it looks like. And the prototype weapons. So I've unlocked that one. Does that mean I can make that? I can't click it. It must mean that I've unlocked it and therefore I can use it. We'll just have a quick look in uh, create a class. It looks like it because it said new. No. Load out, personalize, camouflage. Well, that's one of my cameras that I unlocked from uh, from the bonus DLC in the in the box. I just want to quit that for the fun of it. Accessory, nothing yet, but it looks like handguns, and then obviously that's your weapon prestige. Okay. New. I can still personalize it. So. Why is it saying I can personalize it? Hmm, okay. So this is new to me. Uh, 
maybe I'm doing something completely stupid here. Maybe I'm not new. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. So it, you, when you choose your weapon, you go across, and it gives you the ones you unlock. So I'm guessing I've got that bit in a in a standard. Um, go to none. There we go. So now I've got that as my as my built-in built-in camo almost. Okay. Increased ammo as well. So that that's cool. So that's where things go. So I'm happy I've got one of them. I can use that as my basic gun holder. Go to players that in a bit. Um, so we go to barracks, and I assume this is where you can change your calling card. And there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot. So are these all to begin with? These must be what you get to start with. Operation mission teams career. Yeah. So you're going to unlock these as you go. Oh, there's so much customization. This this may just uh, consume me. As I said in the in the previous video. I love customization in Call of Duty. I've always loved it. I think it's great that there's so much you can unlock without paying. And you get the challenges of, of going through and unlocking unlocking things by doing things like five kills while using the Warfighter's rig overdrive ability. Sounds simple, but you get a reward for doing it. That's that's what I like in games. I really do. So we'll set one for now. Just if we can, let's see. Next grid. You know what? Let's just go for the United Kingdom one because why not? Emblem. Okay. So you can just choose from here. Oh, hello. Got the nice little uh, zombie looking ones. And they came from the uh, pack. We'll go with that. So you have Quartermaster, Mission Team, Custom, and Extras. I'm assuming Custom is ones where you can make your own, like you could in uh, Black Ops and things like that. And clan Tag. I normally use 3033. I will just set that as 3033. There we go. Okay, so that's everything in there. Fine match. So you've got team deathmatch, free for all, domination, surge and destroy, hard point, kill confirmed, front line and defender. Now, team deathmatch is obviously team deathmatch. Free for all is every man for themselves in team deathmatch. Domination is my favourite. Uh, it's three flags. Capture the three flags to gain points. Uh, you can control the three flags to uh, earn points, to win, uh, most points to win the game. Search and destroy is team take turn defending and destroying, as you can see. I assume most people who are watching this know what each playlist contains, but hard point, capture and hold the zone to end points for your team. Kill confirmed, recover dog tags to score for your team and deny enemy scores. So when you kill someone, the dog tag drops, pick it up, get the kill. If they kill you, they pick up your dog tags. If you pick up your own dog tag before they pick it up, like when you respawn, you get back to it. You save the kill, so they don't get the kill, and you also get bonus points for doing that. Front line, you always spawn at your base uh, and use teamwork to eliminate players on the opposite team. So it's basically team deathmatch with a set starting point and it's kind of push forward and go. And defender, capture the drone and hold it to upload data and end points for your team. Just on front line, I believe that's what it is from what I was talking to my friend about. Um, having not played it on the beta and having not played this yet, I'm only going on what I've been told. Hardcore, you've got team deathmatch, domination, surge and destroy, and defender. Obviously, you have in hardcore, you have like reduced health, um, stronger bullet damage, uh, things like that, along with usually no, it shows no ammo and doesn't show you reticle. But I could be wrong. Special, so gun game's back. That's one of my favorite game modes. You start off on a basic gun, you get a kill with it or two kills with it, you move up. Um, I think in Call of Duty, it is one kill. In Battlefield, it was two. But you, you move your way up and the uh, the ending is normally a knife. Get a kill with that. Win the game. It's like a race. Um, first one to the end wins. You can also take people down a peg with melee attacks. We played this on Black Ops 3 with a group of about six of us. It was great. I'd love to do it again if people um, people get the game. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do some streams on that. Mosh Pit is an assortment of objective game mode. So um, you'll get a mix of mixed bag of games. And Ground War is big team battle. So it's like team deathmatch, domination, kill confirmed. Competition, uh, uplink, so that's where you get things like the basketball game where you have to get the ball, sprint, jog it in the box or into the basket as it were and uh, score points. Obviously, the team are trying to get it off you and capture it back. Hard point, capture the flag, certain destroy and defender. Featured is frontline defender and terminal. Now, terminal is in the box for most people who pre-ordered it. It's the remake of the mission from the map from Modern Warfare 2, I believe, where you're in the airport. Um... I will maybe do a quick run on that later and add 
add some gameplay on, but for now, that's what that is. Okay, so coming out to multiplayer, uh, we'll quickly go into custom game so we can see the maps. Again, I don't know any of the maps. I'm just going to go to game setup. I did this on, on uh, the remaster to scroll through. There's not much point in me going into what you can do with the customization because most people know when you set up a private game, you can have whatever map, bots, uh, game mode, whatever you want to do, it has the customization there to do it and set up your kind of game. So I'll just flick through the maps. So we'll start at the top. We've got Breakout. It's like a, an outside earthy style one. Mountain range maybe. Crusher looks like it's set on Mars. Oh, it does say that on the outer edges of Mars. Uh, Scorch. So I'll just read. Scolding a hot mining facility on the surface of an asteroid. Lots of cover and straight up engagements in this mid-sized map. Retaliation, a classic style map set in a ravage Geneva during the thick of the SDF invasion. Pff, means nothing to me until I've done the story, but looks good. Frontier, this is the one that I did play on the beta. Uh, it's like in a space station, and when you die, they float. <laughs> quite, quite like that. Um, grounded, a doomed SDF destroyer crashed on the edge of the methane lake on Titan. Mid-sized battleground with medium and close-range combat. Precinct, progressive Shibuya, Japan in the early stage of SDF invasion. Circular flow and open streets give an intense overall pace. Frost, multi-lane research facility atop the icy tundra of Jupiter's moon Europa. Now, I'm a sucker for frost and... Frost. <laughs> sucker for ice maps. Um, Halo did them great. Um, and also Battlefield 4 has a nice one as well. Whenever there's snow or ice or anything like that in a multiplayer map, I love it. I don't know where it is... Something about the blood on the snow. I don't know if this game will do it, but seeing that red splatter when you kill someone gives you that satisfying feeling of, yeah, I did that. And to be fair, Call of Duty snow maps normally are good, but I am a sucker for a snow map. Throwback. Fighting a variety of spaces and engagements in a 1950s style Main Street USA locale, USA locale located on a giant tourist-shaped space station. I'm down for that. Sounds pretty cool. Terminal. Reimagined version of the classic Modern Warfare 2 map. It's on the moon, control the power positions for fierce encounters. This is what I was talking about with the um, with the, the terminal map. You get free in the box if you pre-ordered or if you pick it up. At least I know from game. I'm not sure where else sell it. At least in the UK. Skydock, both spacious sight lines and tight combat in floating SDF shipyard orbiting Mars. Mayday, a small and intense map that takes place in a derelict UNSA ship that is teetering at the edge of a black hole. That could be pretty cool. And Genesis, oh, that looks very nuke -towny. Headquarters for the Division of Mechanical Evolution, Dome, located on the California coast. Frenetic close quarters action that doesn't slow down. I doubt for that. The maps seem pretty cool, to be fair. I do wonder if they ever did a, a collection of all, what, nine or ten Call of Duties that have been released and put every map in it, how many maps and, and how good that would be. A bit like the Master Chief Collection, but on a massive scale. I think... That'd be something I would I would definitely invest in because there's got to be close to what 200 maps. But if anyone in the comments would like to confirm how many maps are in the previous Call of Duties, sort of going back even back to Call of Duty two um, or Call of Duty three, sorry, forward, that'd be great. So yeah, you've got that. Obviously, your modes. Like I said, I wasn't going to go through them, but it's got everything in there. It also has two others actually. Reinforce capture points to revive fallen teammates. Taking all points will win the round. So it sounds like dodgeball. Grind, recover dog tags and take them to the objective market to score for your team. So that's like, that's, that might be quite good actually. So that sounds like a kill confirmed, but you have to get it back rather than just walking on them. So maybe I'll have a look at that. Maybe we'll do something with that. Uh, been through everything else. Codcaster is uh, where you can stream and view other people's um, playing from what I gather. So we'll leave that and we'll come back to one that everybody loves. Zombies. So you've got public match, solo match, custom game, loadout, zombie crates, and store. We'll go to loadout and we'll see how that works out. So you've got fate and fate and fortune cards. Configure your card deck with these helpful buffs. Now this sounds like the gobblegums from the last one. Really greatly enhance the subject's abilities. Would you like to know more? Sure. So build a deck of five cards to bring into the game. Fill your meter by spending cash and killing zombies. When the meter is full, you can select one of your available cards. Activate your cards, scrolling through, and press LB and RB. So activate the card. Run out of cards, go find the fortune teller, pay the price, and refill your deck. Okay, so it kind of sounds like burn cards from Titanfall, uh, mixed with Gobblegum from uh, Black Ops. So that's pretty cool. So we've got, can't see the screen from here, we've got, we've got Maid Party, 
shop class scorching sun runner up and eagle eyed. Oh, okay, so nade pot slot will regenerate over time. Shop class spawn a carpenter power up nearby. Wow, so we've got so many customizations. The uh, the artwork on this kind of reminds me of plasmids uh, from um, Bioshock. Bear with two seconds. Sorry about that. One of the uh, one of my cats decided to knock something over. Anyway, uh, yeah. So looks like you can just add these cards. I'll do different different styles of things, and you can pick them and unlock them as you go. So unlocked at player three. So it must be that you collect them as you go. Okay, that's cool. So we'll come back to that when I'm doing a when I do a gameplay on this. I think weapon kits modify the weapons. Oh, okay, so you've got different weapons in here. So but you still have the NV4s and stuff like that. Okay, I like the way this is laid out. It's got a very nice UI, very nice, very easy to understand. Sometimes Call of Duty can be a bit confusing, but this actually looks pretty good. Okay. Zombie crates, I assume. Yeah, we're the same as the as the ones from um, that. But I have a card pack. What if that's a symbol in the top right? So you can get booster packs, which give you cards. That's cool. Okay. Oh, they've got a very old school. I love the artwork on them. That's, that reminds me. And if you guys uh, have ever played Pogs, um, it reminds me of some of the 90s Pog designs from, I think it was Madcaps. They look, they look pretty cool. Okay, so you can get the packs and you can add them to your cards. So let's go back to Loadout. Fortune cards. So where do they... Ah, okay, Fate and Fortune. Right, so these add different headshots instantly kill zombies. Uh, <laughs> payday spawn double up nearby. So I'm guessing these are single use things, and I've got two of them. So when I'm in the game, I can use them. Again, like the Gears of War boost, in a way. Okay. So we have custom game. Film. Oh, different map. Okay, so Spaceland is the one that you get from the start. That's fine. Oh, it's done. That's very good. It's done as a as a film style. So instead of a map, you're picking a film to play through. Oh, that could get really good. I think I haven't picked the season pass up, but if that is what I think it's going to be, then there might be a there might be a way of swaying me to the season pass. Uh, load out again. It's load out in there. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, again. Public match, I imagine, would we'll start and you go to Zombie in Space Land. And uh, we'll go into that at a later date, I think. Maybe I'll do a video tonight or tomorrow of, of, of exploring zombies and seeing how it works. But again, this is just a, this one called the dashboard tour. So this is literally just, um, again, I'm sorry if you came here expecting gameplay at the end of this. It's not, I'm purely just going through menus as I uh, explore before I play, basically. Okay, so I'll come back out of there. Um, local play. Play multiplayer or zombies locally, so you can play zombies locally, or you can play it, uh, play the maps locally. So I can play with uh, my friends or my, uh, my kids, etc. That's pretty cool. And then the store. So that's that's pretty much everything covered. Um, I'm sorry it's not been as exciting as as maybe it could be, but there's only so much you can get from a menu. But it's good that I can do these videos and I can put them out there, and people who want, like I said, to to get an idea of what they're getting for their money when they're buying a brand new game these kind of videos hopefully will help that um, I do look for them online and sometimes you can't find them because most people will want to play the game rather than um, rather than talking you through what's available options wise uh, guys like IGN and, and things like that do them very well but again they're in live streams so it's it's normally before gameplay um, so yeah I might just while I've got time do a video to follow up from this of 
uh, a run around a map. Maybe I'll go for a tour through Terminal. We'll keep an eye out for that. I might put that on there. Um, so yeah, for now, thank you. Uh, if you've watched on stream or you found it on stream by following me, thank you. If you don't already follow me and you fancy giving me a bit of support, then yeah, hit that follow. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, if you could hit subscribe, if you haven't already, that'd be great. It's cool that I've had so many views on, on one of my videos and that's that's obviously that's great. But uh, if you just take out some of my others, that'd be great. Hit subscribe. I'm looking to get 50 subscribers by Christmas. It's not impossible, but I don't expect miracles. But I uh, appreciate that you've, you've checked me out. Uh, so thank you. Hit that follow, hit that subscribe, hit that like. And I will speak to you again very soon. Thanks, guys.